Every once in a while, a deluge of new things hits my monitor, I guess. And from there, I'm overwhelmed with new stories to tell. And this is just one of those times. Space Haven has just recently come out, and I got a code to o Old World. Now, the Old World pitch I can give to you on its simplest is Civ 6 or Civ 5 meets Crusader Kings 2. You'll be playing the game like you would in a similar fashion to Civ, planting cities and having wars, but instead of having one leader for an eternity, you're creating a family. You'll die as every turn is a year of your life, and your alliances with other nations and your relationships with them will change as you die and are replaced by your kids, and their relationships take place. So, we're gonna play a little old world here. And if you are familiar with the channel, this, Space Haven, and one other game are gonna be the next three games that the director tier over on the Patreon get to choose. So what does that mean? Well, after a couple of episodes of Space Haven, after a couple of episodes of Old, old World, and then after a couple of episodes of one other game, I'm gonna go and put a poll over on the Patreon for the director's tier, and they get to vote on which one will get more episodes. So, with that said, Let's jump in. We're gonna have a new game. I haven't played this game yet. I'm, I'm diving into cold, baby. Ah, coffee. All right, so here are our options for our leaders. We've got for uh, Ashur bin Nepal for Assyria. Uh, let's just go to the stats for now. And they start with trapping, unlock slinger unit, ranged infantry, HP 20, movement two, range two, has Zok, I don't know what that means. Okay. So, basically we get the Slinger unit. Unlocks Treasury 1 project, 10 gold a year. Leads to Treasury 2. Minimum culture is weak. All right. And Sovereignty. Unlocks Garrison. New Laws, Tyranny. Great. All cities get plus one on happiness a year. 20 gold per military unit and territory. So basically straight up military run uh, kind of guy here. We want, we're straight up tyrannical by word of, of, of his sword. He'll also get a couple of unique siege towers and a battering ram, and he has a few families here. Now, this is important. Uh, these families are the families that you have to deal with, uh, while you, while you establish your nation. But we'll learn about that as we play. Then we've got Nebuchadne uh, Nebuchadnezzar of Babylonia. He also gets trapping, treasury, and but also unlocks forum one. Looks like uh, unlocks new laws, epics, low civics. I don't know what that what that stat is. He also gets some ranged infantry in the in the form of Achidian archers and Sumerian archers. And he's got all these families that he has to deal with here as well. Hang on, the music is killing me, my dude. Is there no... There, I'll, I don't think I'm, I lowered it on my end, but it's still the same loud for you. Then we got uh, Dido of Carthage, a unique leader. We don't really see her in any games. Uh, trapping, divination, unlocks shrine, leads to aristocracy and a sovereignty with administration. And she has military drill, which unlocks barracks, tra requires trapping though and leads to battle line with ironworking. No, it looks like no, uh, again, early access, but so no, no art for the turreted elephant. That's cool. Egypt. Ironworking, stone cutting, labor force, light chariot, and a bunch of families. Greece, ironworking, stone cutting, drama. Hoplites and uh, Phalangites. Ooh, we might want to try Philip of Greece. Oh, Rome is always fun. Persia, ironworking, trapping, and husbandry. Cavalries, ranged cavalries, and then Rome. Aristocracy, unlocks ambassador, 10 barbarian opinion, courage. Romulus of Rome, player opinion. Missions, player peace with, player truce with, okay. I'm kind of torn between right now Egypt and Rome, I think. Egypt looks kind of cool. Sure, let's try Egypt. 
And we'll stay with uh, the usual, I think. As a ruler of a young nation, you must lead your people to prosperity. Select your settler and establish your capital city. At this time, you will decide which family manages your capital, gaining the perks of that family. So that's what the families are for. Good to know. I'll choose cat carefully. So here we are, our city site. And as like you said, uh, or like I said, I don't know why I said like you said, you're not talking to me, I'm talking to you. Uh, this is very similar, and at least on surface level, to Civ 6. So uh, let's just dive in. I guess we're just going to kind of plop the city right next to here. Are these urban flats? Sure. We'll found our capital city. I guess this is who we choose. Ah, that this is the, the family we choose and what they give us. Interesting. Two defense per year. City's always connected. Ooh, the city's always connected. All new mounted unit to start with Saddleborn. Can build units that require horse, camel, elephant, on seat, founded, gain scout. Consumes one of those little scrolls, which I'm looking at the top and I'm not seeing as a resource. All these things I think I'll learn in time here. What's down here? We discovered ironworking, labor force. All the cities connected. I think that's probably really useful. But more food is always good. Rural specialist train time. We're currently at minus two food per turn, but we have 400 bank, so we should be okay for a little bit. All right, let's just do the one where they're all connected because that's where my brain keeps going. Let's take a look at what this is. Training rate. Ah, okay, so we'll, we'll end up having a little bit of extra training rate every year. Let's do it. Orders are an important feature of Old World. Units can move multiple times each turn, but each move consumes one order. Other actions, such as attacking or building, also consume orders. Your remaining orders can be seen in the lower left corner of your screen. That's what the scroll is, then. We recommend that you, you first select your worker, so that you may begin to improve your land before you spend all of your orders for the turn. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. So instead of every unit getting, like, movement uh, per... Right here, we have orders. 18.1 rate. Orders can be spent on various actions such as moving, attacking, and building improvements. Unused orders are sold for money at the end of the year. Okay, so we can we can take a turn and do very little if we need capital or income for some reason. So we'll take our worker here. Workers improves your uh, improvements for your city. Rural improvements such as farms and mines gather raw materials. Urban improvements such as barracks or shrines provide training and culture. Okay. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, I imagine we want to build a farm right here. Removes trees, so it's going to take three orders to do, it looks like. And it will remove the trees. Or we could go here, maybe. And this is all, what, cities? I don't know what the heck these, these other cities are. Sure. Let's click build a farm. Why don't we build a farm here? So that took an order. And we'll build a farm. Scouts are fantastic explorers and can see further into the unknown. They can also hide in trees, making them invaluable as an early warning against uh, invading enemies. Good, good, good. They can also hide. That's cool. Send your scouts out into the wilderness and look for new cities and mysterious ancient ruins. So we already have a mysterious ancient ruins right here. It just takes one order to move there. Our explorers discovered a cache of yellowed star charts in the ruins. The former inhabitants must have been a tribe of great navigators. Should Who should receive these charts? Our scouts could use the direction. Uh, we gain a scout and we get five orders. Or our astronomers are in need of inspiration. Join court great scientists. I think it's too early game. Let's just take the extra orders for the turn. And we'll take the extra scout. Okay, that's neat. Uh, oh, we've got an heir up here. Princess Aneferuri, your daughter, heir. Female, age eight. Opinion of you, she's cautious of me. You know what? All eight-year-olds should be cautious of their parents. I understand. Is there anything else that we want to do? Founded was set. Okay. 
Okay. We'll just keep exploring. We might just want to end the turn here. A city site. What happens if I walk here? Okay, we're just gonna have to stay there. We have five orders left. I don't really want to fight anything. So why don't we say... That's another scout? Oh no, we have a whole other scout. Alright, scout. Go explore towards the Wanchi Mountains. Oh, that was really fast. <laughs> you like flew there. Well... The warrior is the first melee unit available to your nation. Melee units will form the backbone of your army, defending you from enemy tribes and nations. Well, good to know. Thank you so much. I guess I kind of just want to put them in the city, maybe? We could promote him. Which would give him a bit more. It would take our training, though. Why don't we just put him in with set? There we go. Whoa, choose research. We can choose trapping, divination, or administration. So we know we get the slinger. And it turns into an archer and a longbowman early. Uh, that would probably be valuable early on. Yeah, let's just go with trapping. We'll put them on sentry for now. End the year. Alright, well, that was our first year. Slavery or freedom? Egypt is in need of a decision regarding its labor force. Some in court support the system of slavery, while others wish to keep freedom of virtue. Now, what is this going to do for us? So, if we will keep the slaves, it's going to give us a minus 400 gavel power. Uh, but we're going to get five orders per year, all cities, plus one in happiness a year. Our subjects will be free. We get more research every single year. We will not decide right now that the opens the law screen. The court will choose. Let's take a look at the law screen. Slavery. Freedom law. Basically, we choose research or do we want to choose more orders? I think... The research is where value lies. So let's pass freedom. All right. Let's keep exploring. We got some food over here. Some rocks. Good times. And then we'll put him in the woods city site. I don't know what that means. Ooh. Our troops discover a towering wall depicting images and carvings belonging to an ancient civilization with an impeccable record of their laws. Our generals want to preserve such findings. What do you advise? Uh, let's see. We can bring them to, uh, bring them to Waset, which will gain 20... Green, green thing and become steadfast general versus tribes versus 25 or acquire aristocracy centralization vassalage technology oh man those are two things I don't know what the best thing to do is this feels early game this feels late game let's just let's unlock this tech I'm glad to have such wise people Your scout has moved on to some wine, a harvestable resource. Your scout can spend an order to yield a small amount of materials. Early, it's a great way to boost my early economy. That's exactly what I was thinking. Harvest wine. Perfect. Thank you. So two more years before that farm is done. I like how it's like measured in years. Ooh, border dispute. 
Almost immediately after discovering the Vandal encampment, our troops are threatened by warriors at its border. Insults are traded, weapons are drawn, our units stand at attention ready to act at our command. Okay, we contacted a tribe. Purchase their goodwill with gifts of gold. Take one of their units as a prisoner hostage. Vandals, memory. Minus 40 opinion for 40 years. Plus one citizen was set. Queen uh, becomes bold. Or we become wise and we get more global research. We purchase it. But they like us for 20 years. Vandals. Leader, Gambar the Vandal. Hmm. They're stronger than us. Purchase their goodwill. I think we're just going to buy, buy their goodwill for now. You cannot attack each other. 25 years before they upgrade this outpost. All right, I guess, I guess these are barbarians? I don't know if they're barbarians. Vandal makes it sound like they might not be, you know, barbarians. Goats! More vandals. Harvest some sheep, baby. Oh, we can actually just ha Okay, that's cool. Hey, you guys aren't mad, right? You're fine with us? Oh, our city, right. We should be spending and building, shouldn't we? Actually, I have no idea. Why don't we just get another warrior up? Six years to get a warrior. We got a free scout, though. Let's get a worker, and then we'll get a... A warrior. All right, let's end the year. A marriage proposal has arrived from Remiside family for Queen Hathesh, uh, what's the founder? What do you think of these of these options? Uh, let's see, Remiside family plus two per year, city's always connected. This is the same family we've done. Uh, we got two choices. We have a general hero that will give us plus uh, five orders for the turn. Three plus 40 for the Ramazide. Um, he's not as wise, but he's courageous. He's wise, but not courageous. He's a general or a spy master. Where this guy is a general, just a general. Let's just take the general. King Consort Minkir. He's cautious of me. We could divorce him. I can't really do much. Oh, we can imprison him at some point. Hero trait. We're not going to divorce him, no. Tutorial marriage. You have accepted a marriage proposal for a member of your family. Marriages are a useful diplomatic tool for forming bonds with other families, tribes, and nations. They also allow your family to con uh, continue their line with legitimate heirs. Who will be able to who will be eligible to take over once your current ruler is gone i'll make sure to find good matches for my family you're right i will i promise uh all right well we've got a bunch of orders now can we harvest this harvest the wheat harvest the wheat and then we can go harvest that at some point Ooh, some salt. I'll take it. And an elephant. Harvest the elephant. <laughs> yeah, we harvested an elephant. Who could have ever guessed that that's what would have happened? More wine. And I'll harvest the horses. For some money and we'll end the year and we've got a farm hey, hey we've got a farm now i know we want to get a mine up there at some point 
I guess we want to build a farm here. Because it keeps telling us to. Harvest some gems. And we'll even get up here. Ooh, that was weird. Your capital's finished training a new settler. Settlers are the key to expanding your empire by founding new cities. Take this settler to a nearby city site to establish a new city. When you found your city, you'll have to choose which family to grant it to. This family will provide powerful bonuses to the city, so consider carefully. Okay, so city, you can't just settle anywhere. You have to settle at a city site. Also, I don't remember choosing to build a settler, but okay. Maybe that's just how it happens. So we got vandals over here that we'll have to worry about. Up here, it seems we're pretty open. And there's a lot up here that we can grab, so I really think here is where we want to go. Why can't I move the settler? More vandals. I think we'll keep him there for now. We'll continue to harvest goats for that economy boost early on. And we'll take some horses as well. Air education. Time passes quickly. Princess Neferuri is growing up fast and eager to learn. I'm sorry, I know I'm butchering it. I'm not trying to. How would you like to educate her? I think... Plus one wisdom for research. Commerce. How's our commerce right now? We could use some money. Rhetoric. Commerce or philosophy? Let's go with commerce. She will study commerce. Princess, you need to get us some cash. Roll some money into this family. Be useful. Adjust. End year. Thank you. Hang on. We're making money simply by, uh... All right, we want to go right there. Uh, we could force march. I'm not gonna. Trapping is almost done researching. Hey, we can almost build, we'll build a mine there next to next year for sure. How, where do we want to explore? Okay, we got another city site over here. I'm liking that, like, as long as you have orders, you can move, but units still have a kind of maximum they can move unless you want to injure them and force march them. Nice little hidden area over here. We'll grab that wine on the next one. End year. Okay, we've got trapping. Ooh, we can redraw, we can view the tech tree. Let's take a look at the tech tree. So where are we right now? We just did trapping. We can do some military drill, which unlocks the barracks. Colonization? I think we want to go straight for unlocking a barracks early. There's aristocracy that we unlocked. I think we'll give this one to the thumbsoid seat of a family. Give them a seat at the table here. Gives us uh, a little bit of research per pop. A little bit of uh, whatever this is again. Civics. There we go. Let's do it. Memphis. And we're going to get the horses. Some wheat in it right away. And we want to get a worker up and running pretty, pretty much immediately. I thought we... So I can't just choose this to research, huh? I have to be lucky enough to draw it. And I can't redraw. Well, why don't we go for a pasture then? Nice one year easy research. That'll help us in the long run for sure. This work is done, so let's get him here. 
So we can get him working on getting a mine there. We can actually build the hanging gardens. Yeah, let's do it. Ten, a 10 year project though. Where if we just add a road. I don't know what adding a road would do. Yeah, let's get a quarry over here. Ooh. You are now known as the Explorer. Our men find murals depicting creatures, rituals, and battles. The style is reminiscent of the Vandals, leading us to believe that this tribe was perhaps a precursor to their own. Our troops warn against decorating such a site, or desecrating such a site, rather. The Vandals are very protective of their culture. Of course, there is much to be learned from these ruins. We don't want to offend them. Or we could just say, screw it and take it all. Let's keep building our opinion with the Vandals. And there's some barbarians, and now we have an eye on them. But now, maybe with the barbarians, we can actually get a little help from the Vandals to deal with them. Your cognomen have changed... has changed to the Explorer. Uh, this describes your recent accomplishments and improving and increases your legitimacy in the eyes of your people. Higher legitimacy, legitimacy grants you additional orders and improves your standing with your nation's families. Keeping your legitimacy high is important for controlling a larger empire. Okay. I, yeah, it's really interesting how they've worked these kind of... Yeah, I, I see them as CK2 uh, mechanics, but they're not... Obviously, they're just straight out of from history and medieval, medieval times, but... Uh, it's interesting to see how they how they manage that. Uh, it's really adding a nice, neat little twist to the kind of the typical formula. So we'll go ahead and end the year. A family friend paid a visit to Princess Neferu's school and sends a glowing report about the heir's progress. She appears happy and healthy, and she's excited to return home and take her place in court. The future looks bright. Send her wine for revels with friends. Uh, gives her... Pl uh, or she just gained 60 EXP. Send her a gift of academic text. Uh, let's give her a little charisma. Go enjoy yourself for a job well done. Just keep it up, you know? No, no harm in, in celebrating. Just a little bit. Well, I'm going to stop here. And we'll continue this tomorrow. And then after that, we'll see where we're at. Old World's a lot of fun either way. And I hope you guys are enjoying it along with me. We tell the story of the family of Egypt.